On this video, I want to show you the variety that you can get by simply uh, flipping your fields around to different sections. So, for example, I want to introduce the commission field into the report. I'm going to pull that into the row area. So, notice how we have um, the destination and then by commission either the no or the yes. Now, watch. I, uh, I can move the commission maybe above the destination. And now I have the com uh, all the no's together and then sorted by destination. Or well, watch what I want to do. I'm going to pick up the commission and move it under the row area. Now look, it gives me kind of a, a different looking report. Now the January is broken down into a no column and a yes column. And then the, the February is broken down into a no column and a yes column. Or watch, I'll pick up the commission and move it above uh, the date. Now look what happened. It has all of the no's through the months. And then if I scroll over now it has all the yeses through the months. So you can really experiment with this and get uh, different looking reports. I'll even move the date this time into the row area. And notice how you just have a completely different report. Uh, so I have the Philadelphia. Instead of the months going across the screen, they're kind of going down like that. It's the same information, but it looks completely different because we're able to flip the fields. So I'm going to put the date back into the column area. Now notice how the, um, the dates are once again on the, on the columns. I'm going to move the date above the commission field. So all the, you have your Januaries with the no's and yeses, and the Februarys with the no's and yeses. I'm going to move the data, the commission field, off the pivot table altogether, and now we're back to our original report. So it's very interesting to flip your fields around between the different sections, and you can really get uh, different looking reports when you do that. 